It is 12.02 in the afternoon, December 1st, 2020. It got cold last night. We're going to have to get insulation and a repair thing for my son Benji's water because the little Y that holds his water on cracked. Um, we also got to get him more heat. So it looks like he and I will be going to Lowe's later this afternoon because that is where we got to get the stuff to fix the uh, the water line on his house. I'm going to be driving up to Turner Falls here in a minute to talk to him about it. And I'll be buying him another accordion heater today um, so that he can stay warm. I may lose my daddy today if I haven't already. I haven't been online. I can do that right now to see if mom's messaged me. Uh, he's in the hospital in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. He's unresponsive. He's got COVID-19. Oh, thank God. He, uh, I'll just read it to you from my sister, Amy. I talked to my dad's nurse this morning. She told me that she was very surprised to see that dad made it through the night. He has 100% oxygen, but is only taking in 60%. At the time, he is unresponsive, but his blood pressure is stable. I'm fixing to head that way just so I can say my goodbyes. I just want prayers that he doesn't suffer. Thank you, everybody that has been here for me. Uh, he's tough. He's a tough old man. He's a very kind man. Always has been his entire life. Um, I'm hoping that he makes a recovery. Life's miserable for him, living in a nursing home. But, uh, if he passes, he'll be with loved ones on the other side, and I firmly believe that. Mom, if you're watching this video, I love you. I miss you. Um, my brother Chris is in the hospital with ulceritis on his feet. He sent me some photographs of his his left foot. It looked horrible, but it's better. Um, that is one of the aspects of sugar diabetes. I have it and he has it. I think I probably watch my diet a little better than he does, and I do work out about every day, sometimes every other day. I didn't last night, but I did yesterday morning. Um, I will work out tonight before I retire for the evening. Uh, I'm telling you, it's just... These are some perilous times, but I stay with what I said on yesterday's vlog. I really believe everything's going to be fine. You just need to have faith in God, study your scripture, pray, cleave to your family, and express kindness to everybody you come across. The only time you ever want to be mean-natured, folks, is when you're having to actually defend yourself or your family. And I'm not talking about verbal meanness. I mean, and you don't have to be mean to do that. Um, if you ever look at actual martial artists when they're in a combat situation, they don't get angry. They remain calm and figure out their next move. 
and that is pretty much what we need to do physically, financially, and emotionally, and spiritually, is remain calm. A lot going on. Oh yeah, before I, I uh, close this vlog down, I need to tell you that my new show schedule, and it, this will most likely be permanent. And I hate it that part of it's on a Friday because I have bad busy Fridays, but the schedule is Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, three days a week at three o'clock in the afternoon on blog spot radio or blog talk radio. And what you'll have to do is look up Adventures into the Strange and then you can get to Tuckland Ashoba live from the barnyard. Other than telling you to be kind, that's what I've got for today. I love you, God bless you, and I'll try to do this again tomorrow.